Okay, we're doing something a bit different. A bit different today. We're doing this Malagos Miracle Rogue. Uh, also getting hit up by some viewers here. Uh, let's see. Top of control. Warning. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, so this deck came from Sakrasta, uh, though it wasn't constructed by him, it was by a Korean Hearthstoner by the name, I don't know if it's Live High or Live High, uh, kind of uh, gave a video general idea, but even just looking at the deck, you'll notice some pretty weird things like me. Uh, so first of all, I'm not uh, much of a Miracle Rogue player, uh, so this maybe will actually suit my style a bit better because I, I don't think I would pilot uh, Miracle Rogue all that great to begin with. Uh, but the biggest thing I think you'll notice here uh, is the, just the win condition being swapped, right? Leroy Jenkins, double shadow step is generally how you're going to win games with a, a Miracle Rogue. You've only got one shadow step here. Uh, sometimes you're mixing like a cold blood in with that, or sometimes you're just pushing other damage or things like Edwin or Eviscerate. But that's, you know, that's the bulk of your, your damage, your kind of finishing combo. And here we've got like Malagos, a single Sinister Strike. We've got Eviscerate, that kind of deal. Um, but what really stands out to me is there's no Conceal. Uh, which is doubly weird, because Conceal is great with Gadgetsan, obviously. Plop it on the board, play Conceal, draw a bunch of cards. But as well, my thought with Malagos was that, well, you'd want to play Malagos, Conceal Malagos, and then play all your spells the following turn. But what this seems to be going for is playing Malagos and dealing all your damage at the same time. So that's why there's only one Sinister Strike. That's your 10 mana. And then what you're actually hoping to do is play a preparation with either an Eviscerate uh, or a Shiv, probably, potentially Blade Flurry as well. Um, so it's kind of kind of ends up around that like 15, 16 damage, something like that, maybe a little bit more uh, as your finisher. So kind of weird, kind of different. Uh, we did do a bit of a, a Miracle Rogue Malagos thing before where we tried not going... Uh, or sorry, we, we, we tried not going the Miracle route. Uh, I do think having Gadgetsan and all that draw with Malagos is uh, is probably the way to go. I think it's probably just a better list, so I'm curious to see how that goes. Uh, respond to Rock here. Uh, Alright, let's, let's cue this up. Let's see how it does. I'm not actually sure. Like the video that Sakras had linked in the uh, in the Discord had uh, had a 200. Yeah, probably is. Um, yeah, had him just playing it like silver. So I don't actually know if he's just like a, a high ranked player who maybe came back to. Um, I'm not sure if we want Edwin here. Maybe came back to classic and just kind of poked around with it, or or maybe it's someone who's who's not all that good. Um, God, I really don't know if you keep Edwin here. My gut says no. I throw him back. I I don't know like what mulligans to do uh, in general with Miracle Rogue, and then. I, but I kind of have an idea because I played against the class uh, or the deck enough. Um, boy. But, uh, yeah, I especially don't know with this, this Malagos list. So I think we just coin the SI, shoot this. Uh, don't think there's any reason to shadow step here. Uh, it's possible we like hit shadow step, play it next turn. 
Um, but I, I also am gonna guess he's gonna like buff this and just kill it. I especially have my room, but good thing. Yeah, see, stuff like this, I don't know. I feel like this is the play. My eyes are open. Okay. We can still shiv here. Ooh. Yeah, see, I like stuff like this because now we can, like, down on those backstab, that kind of thing. I was thinking a, uh, a blade flurry might kind of come in handy, but I think we have to deal with this. I mean, the other option is you down on you backstab this and kill it, and you shiv that and kill it. Then if he hits, you can hero power, deadly poison, and you've got one other draw. For potentially something that does it. Hmm. So many I don't know if that's better. I really don't know. It's a little bit nicer against Argus, maybe. Hmm. I think I am going to go with this. There's that crap. It's possible too we should just backstab that and leave it at one. But I think it's just too hard to get through and uh, and do damage to. is not great. The Drake itself I think we almost have to, right? Unless we hit and hope for a card. We get hit and hope for Blade Flurry. I'm gonna do that first. Dang. Could do that. And that. Now we're just gonna plot this down, keep drawing. What is up? I'm I'm assuming tank main here in chat. That was a uh, rock in Hearthstone here by the many many H's and I's. Just what you needed. Perfect. Well, tank main, having you here. That's the moral support that I need. All right, this is a little late. Um, it's gonna have to do. Uh, I don't think there's any point in swinging. So maybe we can do that. We can hit. I'm just trying to think if there's any reason to sinister strike here. Uh, mostly because it's very unlikely we get to Malagos here, but we, we do have the opportunity to play the Farseer, Shadow Step, and Double Heal. Nah, we're just dead anyway. Well, luckily we're not, uh, not at a point where we're dropping ranks, so that's just fine. First game with the deck, though. Um... Not hitting the gadgets in, obviously, is going to be pretty problematic. Maybe we shouldn't have even kept the shiv. Uh, again, like I said, I'm not 100% uh, not sure about mulligans, but I gotta think with those aggro decks, you want to keep stuff like backstabs and shivs, maybe fan as well. Uh, and here, because we've already got the gadget, that's great. I 
have to think he's a lot less important than he is in your typical Miracle Rogue. Well, I'll keep the SI. This is an obvious keep with coin. The, um, we've got enough like low cost stuff. We might be able to trigger the combo. Hell, even just a 3-3 could be fine. You ever played OSRS? No, I, I've, like it rings a bell, but I don't even know what that is. Or how that's pronounced, if it's literally OSRS, or if that's like Osiris. No, old school runescape. Okay, I know what old school runescape is. Never mind. But I've just seen the, uh, the acronym before. Yeah, no, never, uh, Never played it. Funnily enough, I, I did see another streamer uh, fire it up kind of recently. Uh, I think we... Mm, I think we do this because it's probably one of the only times we're actually going to get the combo off and we can just do this later. It's cool if you like crack cocaine in video game form. Yeah, it really seems like just from like an outsider's perspective, uh, from the, the little bit that I've watched, uh, it almost just seems like an early iteration of, of like a clicker game or an idle game or something where it's just like you've got to you got like all these things that you can level up and it's just like you keep doing the things and you keep watching the numbers go up and, and that's what makes it so satisfying and addictive. Alright, I guess we're just doing this. Yeah, they don't play it or you play it 10 hours a day, no in between. Yeah, you hit the nail on the head. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I totally have that thing about me like I I'll get totally hooked on games now it's been a long time I I'm less like that as I get older um, I tend to actually like feel guilty about I actually don't mind that uh, about spending all my time whatever playing games and stuff and, and I don't know they just don't grip me as much probably because I've played so many uh, so many different games that it's hard to find something that's really like fresh and engaging and addictive. Um, but yeah, not that I play like many mobile games or clicker games or anything like that. Uh, the the few that I have, I, I do, I get sucked in and I just enjoy the kind of endless progression that comes with it. Seem like the super analytical type that will get sucked into a game like that. Definitely super analytical with stuff. So if uh, yeah, if, if that's kind of a character trait that'll get you sucked into the game, then yeah, I'd say that's accurate. So here, I think he's got a misdirect and an explosive trap, and it's making me wonder about running out Thalnos because one, it gives another target for the misdirect, but as well the explosive trap is going to, uh, oh jeez, I gotta think about how I do this. The explosive trap will give us a card, which is not that bad. So many the only thing with it is then do I swing or do I swing here? Because if I swing at Mr. X, no, you swing. Right, and you really hope it targets you. Shit. So bad. Okay. Nah. Part of me wanted to just get those two out because it's like immediate damage, but I mean this is another damage on board plus a lot of draw. And, and there's a good chance we're going to be playing this to kill whatever he's got. You trying to get legend? I can Q snipe you and concede. Oh, well, first of all, no, not really trying to get legend. Just trying to play and have fun. Uh, but 
No, I don't want to do any kind of wind trading stuff either. I appreciate the offer, but uh, yeah, no, not not really my jam. Makes me want a sinister strike, but let's hold on to it for Malagos. Like obviously, there's a chance that this is better to do now, but this is so much cooler. So. Okay, some heal here is nice. Let's do this to start. There we go. There's not really any point of killing this, because you're going to be taking two damage anyway. He might have a buff with an abusive. I guess that would be the point of killing it, but... We're at least doing this, and then the only reason to not do this would be Unleash, but he's already played one. Eh, let's do this. Plays around the abusive, and hopefully give us a... An opportunity to Malaga Sinister Strike prep Blade Flurry just because it's cool. Unless he concedes. Don't do it, don't go face and concede. No! Hit that, let us do our cool thing. So sad. Oh well. Win's a win. We had the Malaga setup. But yeah, I think what, uh, kind of looking into the future for, uh, for streaming stuff and, and other games and that, because I don't know how long Arsenal Classic's going to be fun. I think if we can get more community involvement, if we can ever get, like, tournaments or show matches, show matches going, uh, maybe that would keep it fresh, but, uh, I'm really looking forward to, uh, to Diablo 2 getting remastered and playing that, because... I, I, just easily one of my favorite games of all time. I think we just throw it all back here. Downside to Classic Hearthstone is the player base is so small. Yeah, some of the queue times get pretty long. Yeah, playing the same 20 people over and over. And a lot of them don't even change up the decks. Like, I know I'll play the same, like, Zoo player for months, and it's kind of weird, but... Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's a bit of a downside, but the... The one, like, bit of silver lining to it is when they all congregate, like, here around my channel or in the Discord or whatever, uh, it, it's a bit more of, like, a, a tight-knit community, um, which I like. Like, I like that I actually run into viewers sometimes when I'm, I'm playing. It's, it's kind of cool. I think I'm just going to hit here. It's possible we should do that for the draw. Um, but I think I might need that in combination with the weapon at some point. Reporting for duty. Here we go. Okay, I'm not super concerned about doing it now because it's even if we draw an auctioneer, it's not great. Here we go. I'm gonna do it like this. Um, saw your YouTube vids for a while and cute indie one day. He said to my friend request and I almost shit my pants. I I mean I'm sure people uh like it goes both ways. People are probably like, oh it's so cool, you know, I seen you uh streaming before or whatever, so you know, running into you on the ladder, oh that's so cool or whatever. But I have it the other way where I'm like it's so crazy that people like recognize me and, and like want to send a friend request because normally right before I ever streamed and, and when I would play if it's like a recent opponent wants to be your friend you're like oh what what like homophobic or racial slur am I gonna get called if I hit accept uh, but now I, yeah most of the people who uh, who send friend requests are are really just like yeah, nice people who, who want to say hi. I think this is fine. Yeah. 
Not really in a hurry to get that out. I'll just chill like this. It loses game. Oh boy, here I go flaming again. Yeah, that is exactly. I don't know the attitude that a lot of people uh, seem to have. It's it's strange, but. That's been my experience, anyway. I think it's probably worth getting this out now. It's possible that it's right to, like, coin the Drake, but... This guy's I feel like coin... Obviously, it's very valuable with the gadgets in, but I feel like even with Malagos, it can act as a bit of a prep substitute, potentially. And then again, I guess you really need... You actually really need prep. You need the Sinister Strike. At ten, one extra mana might not might not help you that much. Well, maybe the coin is for Alex then. Which is also fine. Yeah, can't wait for Diablo 2. I know anytime I play like new games, people uh like the viewership drops a crazy amount. And the YouTube algorithm seems to hate me after I do it too. Like the first Hearthstone video after a uh, a new game always gets like less viewership. And I just kind of assume that's a, that's a YouTube thing. Ah, oh boy, this sucks because I can't, can't sap and Alex. I think here, because if you sap, you can like build a better board, push damage, set up for like shifts to pop bubbles. But we can just kill him. I kind of think that that's the play. Oh, interesting. Ha, this guy's toast. I think we'll just do this. Damage to face doesn't really matter. So yeah, I'm not sure how many people are going to be on that, uh, that Diablo 2 bandwagon or who are going to be interested in it, but... Yeah, fair warning, I'm going to be... Going to be playing a ton of it. And then beyond that, I'm not really sure what else. I, I was a huge fan of Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. So Baldur's Gate 3 coming out is uh, is quite exciting, but it, it also looks, jeez, I don't know if I go for like board collision stuff here, I think I do. Uh, and the Divinity games as well, oh here we go, interesting. The Divinity games were, were big for me, I don't know if we do this or Edwin, right, we can Blade Flurry, hit. Edwin. I feel like that's maybe better. Yeah. Hey, lights out. We could even do some weird shadow step stuff. But let's keep it out of BGH range. I like that. Uh, but yeah, I I don't know. I'm not like a huge fan of uh, of the Dungeons and Dragons systems. I, I like Dungeons and Dragons, but I think games like Divinity uh, are actually just like better better combat systems, like better designed uh, systems, and so not sure how I feel about uh, about Baldur's Gate, Gate 3, but I'll, I'll give it a chance, I think. Uh, and then the other one that I'm really excited for is Elden Ring. Because I was like a ginormous uh, Dark Souls fan. Demon Souls was good. The, the bit of Bloodborne that I played was good. And so yeah, everything about that, that's pretty exciting. So there's, there's a few things that I'm, I'm pretty excited for. And, uh, 
Oh yeah, he probably thinks I have like a Leroy and stuff. <laughs> nah, dude, I, I don't have good cards. So yeah, very, very curious to see what, uh, what people are interested in seeing. I think we saved the prep. Maybe it would have been right to just, uh, no, I don't think so. That's not good. Let's use one equality. I don't think I want to sap either of those. Alright, I'm gonna start just pushing damage. I don't think we die here. Actually, I'd be very curious if there's uh, either games that, that aren't out yet that people are looking forward to, or if there's Stuff that people are playing now that they they highly recommend. I always like suggestions on stuff like that. For we do have another play flurry, right? Yeah, we do. There it is. Well, that's fun. Another thing about Classic is everyone is so good, any new players that try it probably get destroyed and get dis discouraged. Is that true? I I guess I don't really have a good, good grasp of that. But I'll take your word for it. Okay. We're still not dead. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. Not dead, but we haven't won yet. Yeah, I, uh... So, we've got a viewer. She's a, a streamer as well. Mystic Honey Bunny. Uh, highly recommend people check her out as well. Especially if you're interested in MMOs. Uh, but she, like, popped into the Discord and, and was adding a bunch to... Oh, shit, he's gonna kill it. Maybe. She was adding a bunch to uh, to the community, really. And, uh, yeah, she messaged me on Discord. We ended up playing uh, Parson. Or she was in, like, silver, going for going for gold. And, uh, yeah, she just, like, shared screen on, on Discord. And uh, I did my best to help her hit gold. She actually ended up hitting it. But the people at those ranks, I, I thought were noticeably, uh, you know, noticeably worse than people up in, like, Diamond and stuff. Like, they were making lots of mistakes. And I don't know if that's, like, timing in the season or, uh, you know, maybe just the batch of people that we ended up getting in those games. But it was a lot of fun to do anyway. We've got about 5K games in Classic. Holy crap. Seems like I rarely ever see misplays or dumb mistakes, although most of my games are legend matches. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I... I certainly feel like at the highest level, like, uh, whatever, I'm Diamond 5 now, I've been Legend in two of the seasons since they released Classic, I think, and, uh, I don't, yeah, I don't notice much of a difference in the skill level of players, and once you hit Legend, right, it, like, actually shows you the rank of the other player. If they're, like, Diamond 5, Diamond 10, they play about as well as people that are, like, top 100 Legends, so... I, I certainly notice that aspect of things. Um, trying to think if I coin out the forest here. Here, what's he gonna do on three? He might bow. I think I'm just gonna do that. If he bows and hits face, I mean you're healing one more with that. And then he's more tempted to use his second charge versus a, a trap or something. Oh, this is interesting. But yeah, I also don't know how it is in standard. It's been so long since I've played, uh, Here we go. played any kind of standard that uh, I don't know what like legend versus diamond or whatever it looks like up there. Uh, I know they've got way more legend players in the thousands, maybe tens 
of thousands even. Whoa. Do this and pass. No need to swing in yet. Standard is roulette, classic is poker. I like both, but uh, no, I see your point. One's a skill game, one's more uh, left up to chance, and, and I mean, that's that's a big part of the reason why I, I stopped playing standard a long time ago. With the other shiv, it's fine to do this. Oh, that's interesting. Put this apple on your head. The light protects me. Hmm, how do we want to do this? Makes it even more interesting. So, I mean, we can shiv. Is that how we want to do it? I think we want to swing first. Proc the explosive. There's still probably a misdirect. Oh. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's so perfect. It's just so perfect. And then we do this into Blade Flurry. Coin it. Yeah, that feels good. How much do we actually have here? Eight, nine, uh, what is that? Fourteen, sixteen. I think we do this. I don't think there's any harm in sapping this. I actually just think it's like strictly better. Uh, you sap. You hero power. Because now that we've got the uh, the prep, we can Malagos prep of this next turn. Oh shit, no, no we can't. We have eight mana. Well, genius. I guess it doesn't really matter. We can probably still if it's right next turn anyway. Ooh, but we're we're not guaranteed lethal this way. Wow that I can't believe I miscounted my mana. Did you say classic players were good? I can do my best to disprove that. Alright, what do we have? Eight, nine, 10, 11, 15. Okay. All of you. Here we go. Ah, roulette. Maybe I should go play stand if we're top deck and lose on everything. Okay. 
I think this is this is one of the matchups I'm uh, most unfamiliar with. Like I, I feel like you at least do that for sure. Generally speaking, you're probably hard mulliganing for gadget sand. How good is Deadly Poison? I mean, it's really just good against a Void Walker, but being able to coin Earthen Ring, it's a similar thing. I'll, I'll keep the one, I guess. Maybe it's actually good to keep the two, because you can play one on two, one on three. But this is nice, some AoE on top of it. Yeah, if anyone's actually like an experienced Miracle Rogue player and you're like, wow, these mulligans are terrible. It's, uh, it's kind of what I was expecting going into this day. I, I think I can, when I can count my mana correctly, actually pilot it decently well, but, uh, but actually, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing for mulligans. We'll openly admit that. And we shivered, we coined Edwin. 4-4 four, four on the board is good. The problem is if he, uh, if he just throws an abusive into this and kills the Edwin. It's not really good enough. Coin Earthen Ring and he throws that in. Yeah, I kind of think this is just fine. Able to kill one thing, pop the bubble. Even having this on one and this on three is kind of useful. Otherwise, it's the earthen ring. But he probably just ignores it. Yeah. I do like this. Sets up a decent blade flurry later, too. Oof. Though with the deadly poison, we might, uh... Might just have to point it out this next turn. I don't know, let's see. So yeah, we definitely can't leave that uncontested. Uh, it's not even horrible to not deadly poison with it, but still think it's worth it. Um, yeah, I guess there's no reason to prep it instead. I think you'd only prep it if you could still get the Edwin out with coin as well. But yeah, I don't think we can wait another turn to do anything like that. Super strong turn from him. Kind of makes me think that that's a Doom Guard, though. There's not a lot of other stuff you'd hold on to at five men. Unless it's a Soul Fire and he's just wondering if he should throw it at our face. Boy, this is ugly, too. If we gadget sand and we Prep. Is there anything we draw that's decent? Um, backstab. So many options. With this, yeah, there's a few things. Problem is, if we play real safe and we earth and ring, you just like hero power and it don't really do anything. I, I think a four four. If you do prep, you're not really saving it for Malagos here. Oof. It's nasty. 
But even if the draw is just getting us closer to like a shadow step, that could be really good for the the heal. Let's see, let's see if this is a doom guard. Oh, <coughs> that was. So it was a soul fire. You should have thrown it at her face last turn. We would have been dead. I mean, we can backstab, we can hit, we can heal. Don't think there's a way to kill this, because you can get the spell power, backstab, but then there's no way to hit, I don't think. I don't think there's anything we draw that lets us do it. Alright. Interesting. Well, we got rid of one soul fire, so... Ah, uh, but two two damage is easy to come by with dwarf and abusive. Put this apple on your head. One shot. Whoa! God, don't knife my face. Okay. Jeez. Oh, that's crazy. I feel like he should go face there. Uh, have you tried Malagos Druid in Classic? Uh, yes. I, I put Malagos... Wait, this is... Tankman, are you still... Uh, I assume you're still in stream. Um, but yeah, I tried it in, in like a miracle... Uh, Two ways about that. Yeah, 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 that's fine. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't talking to uh, to nobody. Hold on, let me. I think we're one off a lethal. Is that right? Six, ten, thirteen. Oh, it wouldn't even be. Even if you could fifteen, nineteen, but you can't because you don't get the combo there. Oh shit! Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll answer your question in a second. I don't think you double gadgets in. Uh, oh my god, what do you do here? I wonder. Okay, I think you still run this out. This guy's toast. Okay. So good, so good. Uh, sure, we'll do it like, no, wrong, wrong order. Oh God. That's right, we don't have the mana anyway, it's fine. In my head, we could still play that out this turn. That's why I was panicking to do it real fast, but it doesn't matter. You just get the draw off of it there. Uh, yeah, the the Malagos Druid, we put it in a list that had uh, the head gadgets in as well. It was like a miracle druid. Uh, so not exactly the typical. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight,
This is actually a fun deck, though. I'm not gonna lie. I don't really like uh, standard Miracle Rogue. It's very, very good, but I just... It's kind of like Combo Druid. I just think it's one of those decks that shouldn't exist. <laughs> so, kind of unprincipled I don't play it, but... Uh, yeah, this is an interesting variation. Haven't got too much value from Alex. That one's also a, a bit weird. Um, could be an indicator that we're playing the deck wrong. But I'm not sure. I, I do like the idea that Alex could actually be a heal for you in some situations. Like against Zoo there, I think it... You know, there's a world where you're playing Alex on 9 and barely surviving, but it seems like it's usually decided before that. Um, being able to get the heal from Forest Hears with the Shadow Step as well. Now, playing against a Miracle Road, this is super interesting. Uh, this is another one I don't know. Like,. I can see the argument for keeping one of these. Actually, I think I am going to keep Deadly Poison. Just because they can have three threes, and if you don't have an answer to the three threes, that's got to be difficult to deal with. Uh, Deadly Poison will let you kill two. Uh, but I know you you must really, really just want Cabbage Sam before the other guy, so lucky we hit it here. But yeah, might might be right to throw that back. I, I really don't know. Alright, let's see how this goes. I have to imagine standard Miracle Rogue is just like strictly better. I think we're just gonna have to outdraw the person. We're we're unlikely to outplay them. So uh, yeah, if the game can help us out here, that would just be great. Well, maybe we should have swung the last turn. It seems pretty obvious that we should. Well, I don't know. Do you swing? Do that? In Deadly Poison, or do you SI? Or do you even just... I guess you save the SI, right? Might as well combo it next turn. Possible that it's right to run... Alright, squash. Possible that it's right to run that up, too. Boy, I don't know. I am, uh... Out of my element here. The other question is like, do you, uh, it's possible it's right to hold this for Gaddis and stuff, but the other question, should you swing once with it? I'm going to since he's now on four mana. Kill Farce here, is that right? Play your own. Probably save the Shiv. You could also backstab Shiv. Here we go. Gadgets and backstab. Hmm. Now my gut tells me that this is bad. I don't know, it's so weird, because, yeah, Gadget Sam without Conceal, I, I don't know when to run this out, either. All that I'm confident with is that I'm... ...making mistakes left, right, and center, but... That's fine. Whatever. You gotta make mistakes to learn... ...learn the deck, learn the matchups. Oh, wow, he's pushing damage this early. Oh, and he's going to conceal that. Well, that's interesting, too. Because it eliminates our ability to backstab. I don't know. The gadget sand prep something seems good. 
I know you want this from Malagos, but... Might not need it. Um, so ship's gonna give us an extra draw. I think that that's better. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. Wow, is this how Miracle Rogues feel? What the fuck is this? This is so stupid. I'm even tempted to backstab my own guy, but... There's a good chance that I want to use it on this. I don't know. But if he eviscerates this, or kills it with spells in any way, really, right back to the lady flutter or something, seems pretty uh, solid. God, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I feel, I feel icky, as the lepronome would say, uh, by doing this. This isn't any kind of lethal, is it? We've got four, seven. Three, five, yeah, yeah. All good. So we just do that. We do that. We do that. We'll throw out an Edwin. We might sap it. I got the best deal anyway. Looks like it. Oh, backstab. Maybe digging for sap? That's what it's like to be a rogue. Yeah, that is just all kinds of rude. Okay, I think it's going to be a short one today. Going to end it there. That was fun, though. It was fun. And we actually ranked up a bit, um, which surprises me. Uh, I'm sure I did make all kinds of mistakes, but the deck just kind of carried me. Some of the luck seems like we drew a, a lot better in that last matchup. With the fact that we've ranked up, I don't know. I'm going to see how we're feeling on Monday, right? Tomorrow's going to be our day off uh, from streaming. And yeah, maybe we maybe we continue with some good decks and actually try to make a push for Legend. Do we have like actually a full week? There's 31 days in this month. Yes, a handful of days. Yeah, I'm, I might try. Uh, if we slip anymore, I'll probably just revert to some goofy, silly stuff. Um... But yeah, I think that's the plan. Back with Hearthstone on Monday, nothing tomorrow. Uh, yeah, so thanks everyone for watching on Twitch and on YouTube. And uh, enjoy the rest of your night and hopefully see you again sometime soon.